The arrest Thursday of a pioneer of the internet pharmacy trade in Miami has brought home the growing crackdown on international online pharmacies. I've got Chris Weaver here to talk a little bit about who was it that's arrested and, and what does this show about what authorities are doing in terms of trying to limit just not, not just bogus meds over the internet, but just meds in general over the internet. Right, sure. So, so we don't know all the details of the arrest, but U.S. authorities picked up this guy, Andrew Strempler, who was one of the original sort of uh, godfathers of the internet uh, pharmacy trade in Canada. He, he'd uh, gotten in some trouble back in 2006 for allegedly selling fake drugs to Americans uh, through some websites that he controlled and uh, more or less vanished from the scene for years. We're not sure exactly why, but he showed up in Miami, they picked him up, and uh, was brought into... And, and he had a company called RX North that he was selling this through, right? Right, RX North was the, was the main company. Like a lot of these pharmacies, though, he was also selling through other websites with different names, all linked to the same uh, enterprise. And, and if you go to it now, it's a much more official looking website, right? It's right. Not... They were ultimately acquired by a competitor, uh, a company called CanadaDrugs.com. And most of the business was subsumed into that website. So I guess the, one of the big worries in all this, one is you have, I guess, you know, as with uh, this gentleman who's been arrested, is that he was buying meds more cheaply in Canada and then shipping them over the Internet or, you know, getting purchased over the Internet so he could, people could buy them more cheaply here. But then you had a lot of operations. I guess what he was also charged with is selling just fake medicine. Right. He, he, originally, these guys were making money by selling price-controlled Canadian drugs through the Internet to Americans, but the drug companies sort of cut off their supply because they thought they were basically taking a cut of their profits, right? So they Something start, like Adderall. Yeah, right. Adderall, be. Lipitor, Viagra, of course, is a huge one. Uh, they started looking for, uh, when, the, when the drug companies cracked down, they started sourcing farther abroad, like in China, India, uh, places in Europe, Turkey, and that's where they started to run into trouble with the counterfeits. Right, so, and, and that's the big danger, I guess, is that, right. you know, if you think, oh, I'm saving some money here, but you're really just getting God knows what. Yeah, right, I mean, I think, uh, you know, if you're buying from a... Um, uh, pharmacy that's not in the U.S. You just don't know uh, uh, who's regulating it or where the drugs are even coming from in some of these cases. Right. Yeah. And, and so I guess the idea is now is the FDA is just trying to clamp down on this overall and to, to stop not just the sales of bogus meds, but just to, to make sure people are going through the regulated channels. Yeah, I mean, Strempler's arrest is sort of a, a, something of a surprise, I think, because a lot of these operations are offshore, mm -hmm. and it's hard to track them down. Uh, that they got this guy, I think, is just the latest sign that they're uh, more and more focused on what they view as sort of a singular hole in the U.S. supply chain. Right.